round and round the garden <laughs> like a teddy bear. One step, two step, and a tickle under there. Don't! What? Sorry, I didn't mean to snap. Well, all them conference buffets giving me a little bit more to love, eh? Don't worry about it, I like it. Am I going to get lucky? I've got to get in early. I've got one of those ridiculous retraining sessions. You can't stay in bed all day. You've got to get on with things. What things? Well... Exactly. I'm going nowhere fast. University and everything. Richard Branson didn't go and look there where... There you go again, building me up. I'm sorry, I, d I didn't... Just go to work, Mum. You're not helping. Plaster, please. Thank you. Morning, guys. Morning. Thanks. What's that? What? Well, you've been off the heart starter all week. Yeah, I think I've just got enough coffee. And alcohol, too, judged by last night's girly effort. Oh, getting old. Seems everywhere I look, there's some billboard or magazine ad telling me how many units I'm drinking. I've started to count, have you? I can't count. It was a problem at school, but I seem to have done just fine since leaving. There's still time. I'm just learning. <laughs> Hopefully dementia will set in before long. Preferably before we go to Amsterdam, or I'll have to find a new party buddy at the conference. Oh, well, I'll be over it by then. Besides, all those public health messages will be in Dutch, and I can't read Dutch, and I certainly can't count in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bridget Tossing. Oh, hi, Steve. Y yeah, did you get the monthly report? Sorry, Mr Gray, but the test results haven't arrived. Do you want me to cancel today's appointment? Why don't you ring me let me know not to come in? Yeah, you're too busy having a tea break. Uh, I hadn't actually realised that they didn't arrive. Um, they, they should be here. Let me just check again. Yeah, so now they might be here after all. Get your story straight, girl. No, no, I'm sorry, they're not. They should definitely be here tomorrow. Oh, I've been waiting over a week. You've probably lost them or mixed them up with someone else's. In fact, I can actually reschedule you for tomorrow. They should definitely be here by then. Tomorrow? Why should I have to wait until tomorrow? We all have to wait our turn. She, she pushed me into it, yeah? Hi, yeah? this is Michelle Corrigan from the I came here to have a wound dressed. Next thing, she's offered me tests and services, but uh, as usual, the NHS is all talk and no action. I don't know where you lot get off. Yeah, you're just wasting my time. I am very sorry. Yes, you've done nothing wrong. We cannot allocate resources on the basis of who shouts the most. But this just isn't good enough. Oh, isn't it? We have minimal waiting times well below NHS guidelines. Who's this Ponce? I may ask you to leave. The faxing of your results now, Mr Greer. And I'll take them straight through to the doctor for you. There you are. You've been squeezed in. Lucky boy. Please, take a seat. You need to be firm and clear with these people. Don't let the riffraff push you around. Thank you. Is there a meeting I've forgotten about? No, a uh, doctor's appointment. Are you OK? Is there something you're not telling me? I'm just a bit out of sorts, that's all. I'll, uh... I'll get the doctor to prescribe some tranquilizers for my PMT. That'd be good. I'm going to take the warning sign down from the office door. Get some work done for us, OK? leave messages on your voicemail? Yeah, all the time. And do you listen to them? Nah, she always calls back. Mr Melville? Come through. Hello. 
Bridget Tussing's phone. Raj, hi. How did the retraining go this morning? Retraining? It was cancelled. Oh, right. Is Bridget there? No. She's in a meeting. Oh, I thought you two were the office double act. I'm manning the phones. We're expecting a call from a new client who's overseas. Time difference. All that stuff. Did you watch the game last night? I thought we were in for a chance when we got the early goal. Yeah, me too. When will Bridget be out of the meeting? I'm not sure. I'll tell her you called. Yeah, right, thanks. Answer your phone, Sado. Hi, Mom. He's still sulking in bed. Has he had breakfast? Has he been out of his room? No. No signs of life. Oh, Amy, I'm worried about him. He's just feeling sorry for himself. Well, you could show a little sympathy. Can you hand the phone to him, okay, love? Okay. Sorry, I won't keep you two ticks. It's Mum. Jack, are you all right? I mean, I'm trying to call you all morning. Can you hear me? Hmm. Rubbish. Well, you mustn't take it to heart so much. We know how clever you are. Do you remember when you got sacked from your paper round because you were lying in? And then you went out and you earned twice as much money that weekend washing cars. See, that's, that's what we were talking about this morning. You've got ideas, you just need to get your fighting spirit back. Right. Washing cars. Jack? They never really grow up, do they? Sorry, what's his name? Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Your scan indicates that you're around eight weeks pregnant. I'd like a termination. Oh. It's my choice. Of course. But there are other options. Look, is this a right to life issue? Because if you like, I can see another doctor. No, it's nothing like that. It's just, well, you're married, you're 37. I get women in here all the time needing referrals to fertility specialists. Uh, yeah, it wasn't planned, it was an accident. Well, may I ask why you didn't use the morning after pill? Well, like you said, I'm 37. I didn't think it was all that likely. Okay, look, um, I wasn't expecting to be pregnant. I had no idea and I've been drinking lots and I'm sure I've harmed the fetus. So I think a termination is the best option. Well, how many units have you had? I've, I've been drinking every night. Well, how many exactly? Lots, I don't, I don't know, too many. It's really important that we establish the level of risk to the baby. But I'm not prepared to accept any level of risk. I don't want a damaged child. You can't guarantee me I haven't damaged the baby. It's also by no means certain that you have. Fetal alcohol exposure can lead to a whole range of outcomes, some of them quite minor. Look, let me do some investigating, present you with some studies to at least give you a chance to make a more informed decision. Can you come back this afternoon after four? Look, I'd rather just get the referral now. I'll have it ready for you, but just let me investigate before you decide. Ah, Hester. Yes? I just found this. It's one of those annoying insert things, you know, but still, I did think... Assertiveness that... training. I thought your social skills had improved. Yeah, no, actually, I didn't really mean I me. I do know someone who would benefit from this. Really? Yes. Oh, Off you go. Miss Pierce! A word, if I may. Please leave your message after the tone. Oh. Hi, Leo, it's me. Um, can, can we meet for lunch today? At the Icon at 2.30. Can you get back to me? Bye. Heston. 
Any interesting punters this morning? What are your thoughts on the guidelines about alcohol in pregnancy? Apparently my mother's party trick was to balance some bubbly on her bump. <laughs> that explains a lot. I had a patient this morning, late 30s, marketing executive. She's eight weeks pregnant, it wasn't planned, and she's been drinking. So she thinks she's harmed the foetus and she wants a termination. Sounds like a responsible choice. How much has she drunk? She says a lot, but she's been quite evasive about the details. Maybe she's embarrassed to tell you. Maybe. It doesn't seem like a big enough reason. I'm uncomfortable about it. I'm sensing there's another agenda. Yes, you're delving into the realm of the psychic. At last, you've finished your article. Now we can go to lunch. OK, OK, I can hear your stomach rumbling from here. How's it going with Jack? Crap. I think he's blaming me. Why would you do that? Mm, do you want some water? Um. yes, please. Well, um, I think he thinks that I've built him up, which I suppose I did. Nothing wrong with having high expectations. No, except that he feels like a failure. And he's angry with me, and every time I say something to him, he he just goes mental. Well, stop talking about it, then. There hmm. we go. Look, when I was a teenager, I spent the night in a, a police cell, and no, you don't need any details. Anyway, when I got home, my mum had cooked me a, a roast dinner. It was perfect, all that I needed. No conversation. Hmm, not in the cells. Hmm. I well, would die of shame if Jack ended up there. Well, maybe he thinks you're ashamed that he got C's. Oh. Yeah, anyway, my point being that food is the great comforter. Check. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I'll order when my husband gets here. That's absolutely fine. Interesting reading. Heston thinks I need to be more assertive. Right. Do you agree with him? Yeah. No. But I don't know. What do you think? You know, when you want to say something difficult, don't you find yourself not saying something? No. OK. talking test and about patient. I just wanted to say that it must be very hard for you having to deal with a patient who seems to be rushing through a termination. What? Hard for you, personally, I mean, you know, with the... It has nothing to do with me. What are you suggesting? I didn't mean to question my professionalism. <laughs> well, you have. And Ruth, I don't need your bleeding heart sympathy. I've got lots of work to do. Hmm. I'll get an organic chicken. No, we can't afford it. Free range, then. I don't think Jack cares how he gets to his plate. I do. All right, Missy. Um... Oh, would you get some spuds? All right, now then, pudding. Um, get me some flour. Self-raising for a chocolate pudding and some butter. Talk about stuffing the goose.
I brought you some articles on fetal alcohol syndrome. I've already sourced some from the web, thanks. I think you're right to be concerned that your patient may be overreacting. Assessing a specific risk is quite different from promoting a best practice approach. I know. Right. Well, I hope you get to the bottom of it. I will. Mom's sending me shopping so she can cook your favourite meal to get you out of bed. How sad is that? Chocolate pudding might get me out of bed. You're unbelievable. Enjoy shopping. You're so pathetic. Leave off. How would you feel if you flunked your GCSEs? But you haven't even looked at the clearing websites. What clearing websites? The ones you'll find by googling clearing and website. Duh. Even with three C's you should be able to find some chav uni that'll take you. Really? Yeah, but make sure it's far away. Past Manchester, minimum. I'm in line for this room, remember. Enjoy shopping. Mommy's boy. Slave. You leave it on my desk. Thanks. Where's Bridget? Leo, you scared the hell out of me. Well, actually, I don't know. She's not answering her mobile. What's going on, Raj? Hmm? Between you and Bridget? Nothing. You're sleeping together? That's ridiculous. Is it? You told Bridget you fancied her. What? If that was years ago. I hadn't met you. I was drunk. You know, I wonder what you two really get up to on those conferences. Bridget's my boss. And is that why you lied for her? What? On the phone this morning. She wasn't in a meeting, was she? No. No. So you're lying to me. Bridget's lying to me. Why would you both be lying to me? Leo, we're not having an affair. But you are both lying to me. Leo, you've got the wrong end of something, mate. I doubt it. Look, it's not how it looks. She had a doctor's appointment this morning. Maybe she had to go back in in the afternoon. Don't worry, I, I think it's good news. Pretty sure Bridget went to confirm her pregnancy. I didn't want to let the cat out of the bag, that's all. We certainly have. Did you read it or just dismiss it out of hand? I did read it, actually. And? Heston, I was having a bad morning, all right? We can't expect the patients to know that, can we? No, I'm really good with patients. Even Vivian said so. But there's room for improvement. As the first point of contact, you set the tone for the practice. I am aware of that. Now, it's no. important you are in control at all times. A course like this would be beneficial. The mill would pay. I'm very busy at the moment. We can get a temp in. Look, it would help you waste less company time. Not talking about staff twittering away on the internet, but getting to the root of a problem quickly. Resolving conflicts. Yes, I agree. I, I agree. With... Is that your mobile I can hear? Is it? Hmm. He is trying to be helpful, you know. Maybe you should uh, give it some thought. I've looked up some studies for you to read, so you can make a more informed judgement. Some of it's pretty depressing, but there are a few interesting anomalies. A surprising number of children of alcoholics don't develop any symptoms. While the evidence is clear that alcohol can cause harm, precisely what levels are dangerous is not. And look... Stop. Stop. I've been dishonest with you. OK. I've not been drinking. Well, next to nothing, anyway. Um, I need a termination because the baby's not my husband's. Um, yeah, she will be able to do 9.30 on Tuesday. Can I put it? Excuse me. Sorry, I'll have to hold. Excuse me. Excuse me, you're not allowed in there. Ruth. Excuse me, please. Oh. Very sorry. He just he barged in. He, he didn't even ask. All right, thank you, Ruth. 
So you are pregnant? You have no right to be here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. No, uh, I, I want him here. OK. You must be Bridget's husband. Take a seat. So? Who's the father? Can we discuss it later? No, I want to discuss it now. Raj denies it. Raj? And what about that other bloke that you used to talk about all the time after Iceland? Hans Jorg oh. or something? Or that ex of yours off Facebook, Michael? Stop! I just want to know who it is! I don't know! I didn't get his name. What happened? He just charged through. Not a word to me beforehand. All I could do was chase after him. I'm sorry. Oh, fair enough. <clears throat> Have you put any thought into doing that course Hester was talking about? I really don't think I have a problem being assertive with patients. And what about the staff? You were struggling to give a firm no to Heston. And, and, and what was going on before with Zara? You might find it useful and it could complement your therapy programme. OK. I'll think about it. When I was in Milan, I had a one-night stand. I was drunk. It was the right time of the month, and Danny looked like you. So, you slept with a stranger to get pregnant? I mean, it seemed like the perfect solution. It, he'd never know, and we'd get a baby. I'm sterile. Oh. So, why not use a donor? Well, go on, don't hold back on my account. Oh, Leo was adopted. Finding his birth mother was devastating. She rejected him completely. All oh, right, I see. So it's my fault now, is it? No, I agree with you on the anonymity. You know I do. Now that legally it's no longer anonymous, we didn't want to get a donor. There have been some advances with low sperm count recently. Have you heard of ICSI? Yeah, we had the test. Yeah, and yeah, and you said if I did the test, we'd lay all of this to rest. Yeah, I know I did, but it raised my hopes, and I found myself thinking about it more and more, and... What, so you just went and cooked up another plan, did you? Oh, I didn't plan it. It was a stupid, rash decision. On the night, it, it seemed like the perfect solution. It was simple and elegant. It was only afterwards it felt like a betrayal. That's because it is a betrayal. I know, and I don't expect you to accept it. Leo, it seems like Bridget didn't have many options left. Well, and you think this is an acceptable solution, do you? Look, I'm not trying to judge. I'm just saying that Bridget was under a lot of pressure. And now there's a baby to consider. No, there isn't. I, I came here for a termination. I I'm not going to have it. This is my referral. Why would you terminate it? I didn't want to lose you. Whatever you decide, I'm here to help. But right now, the two of you need to go home and talk. I will do that training course next week. Oh, bravo. Glad you've had a change of heart. Yes, well, there are a few individuals not a million miles away that I would like to handle a bit more effectively. Of course, yes. I might come too. 
show you the ropes, pick up a few tips myself. <laughs> An old dog like you. Have a good evening. You too. I'll book us in tomorrow. Mm, smells great, Mum. I've been looking at some clearing websites and I'm going to apply to some other unis, even with my sins. Really? Yeah. I'll have to go through the whole interview process again and the unis probably won't be as good, but I can still do law. Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, good on you! Oh, I to see. You might not have got A's, but you got smarts. Did you hear that, me? It's good news. Um, could you lay the table, sweetheart? Thanks. Going. Where? He didn't say. He'll be off to see that nurse at the mill. Mum, stop it! You feeling okay? It is none of your business how I am feeling. Just shut up about it. You might explain me what the hell's going on. A killer plot in a soap opera becomes all too real from Murder, She Wrote, next on BBC One Scotland.